Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are taking very good care of yourself. Welcome to Expo Moeller. I am Dr. Anshul and today I am going to start a very important series. It's about manner of articulation. This series can be very useful for you. Whether you are a student, you are learning English as a second language or as a non-native speaker. So today's topic is manner of articulation and this is part one. I'll talk about consonants, plosives, all right? We all know when we speak or communicate, various sounds are created. But most of us don't know how are these sounds formed or created. So it's very important for us to know the way these sounds are created. And that way is known as manner of articulation. So manner means the way. And articulation means the formation of clear and distinct sounds in a speech. So that is manner of articulation. Manner of articulation describes how closely the articulators, articulators means organs of a speech, how closely these speech organs interact with each other to create a particular sound. Organs of a speech are lower lip, upper lip, lower teeth, upper teeth, various parts of tongues, hard palate, soft palate, etc. So manner of articulation describes how these organs of speech interact with each other, how closely they interact with each other to create a particular sound. And when the sounds consonant sounds are created, air is obstructed and then it is released and the sounds are created. So air flows from the lung and it comes out either from the mouth or from the nose. It is obstructed that means it is restricted, interrupted and then it is released and the sounds are produced. You got it? So here I am talking about consonant sounds. So in this way, there are various ways in which these organs of speech interact with each other to create these sounds. And on the basis of those ways, these sounds are divided into various manners of articulation. And today I will talk about the way consonant plosives are articulated. That means manner of articulation of plosives. Okay, it's very important for you to know about the importance of manner of articulation. It is important for you to know about the manner of articulation to understand about English speech sounds and to pronounce clearly and effectively. Right? So let's start with plosives. Before that, just a small reminder, if you have not subscribed this channel yet, then please subscribe by pressing subscribe button below and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video. So what are plosives? To pronounce a particular sound when you stop air and you release it suddenly. And what are the plosive consonants? They are P, T, K, B, D, and G. These are plosives. And what is the manner of articulation for these plosives? So there are basically three steps in which we produce these plosives. Number one, complete obstruction to the flow of the air. Okay, number two, flow of the air builds up. Number three, air is released with a burst, with an explosion. Okay? So, just pronounce these sounds with me and observe these steps. Number one, complete obstruction to the flow of the air. So, say, pa, pa. You will feel complete obstruction. Right? Closure is there. And second step, flow of the air builds up. Pa. 
first obstruction then flow of air builds up then air is released with a burst and the sound is created like ba ba again obstruction flow is built up and air is released ta ga ba so in this way when we pronounce these plosives these three steps are followed got it so this is how these plosives are articulated so this is the manner of articulation for these plosives all right and these plosives like p t g are voiceless as there is no vibration in our vocal cords when you pronounce these plosives p t g but b d g these are voiced plosives as there is a vibration in our vocal cords when you pronounce these plosives and if you want to know about voiceless and voiced sounds in detail you'll get the link in the description box below as i have already made a separate video about voiced and voiceless sounds so this was the part 1 about plosives very soon i'll bring part 2 where i'll discuss another manner of articulation all right so if you have liked this video then please press like and don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe don't forget to press bell icon very soon i'll bring another video till then take care bye bye